have any additions to the agenda? Yeah, I'd like a five-minute executive session of citizens' comment. I don't have a personnel Yeah, I'd like to have a five-minute executive
talking about black brown where you break it out. Yeah, yeah. 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 stuff against the orange vegetable or something. I'll tell you what, that railroad cut down. Troy talked about me, and I, I talked to the local railroad man and the train master out of Dodge. Or not the train master, but the road master was up. He looked at it, I told him twice, and they were supposed to come up with a plan of what they were going to do. But yeah, I've talked to him numerous times so over the road. Well, we may, that might not be a bad idea. I'll, I'll talk to the local guy and go with him. I'll tell him I haven't gotten it. That might be an answer. All right. Police Department, Chief Sailor. Uh, you can scratch number two under signage for concealed carry. Um, after I reread that, that was something that only applied to the locales that wanted exemption from the signage. So you can scratch that part. Have a um, the only thing I've got is I had uh, uh, Gail Byer came to the office today and uh, wanted us to look at putting a uh, speed limit sign on North Prairie between the six and 900 block. Um, and she would actually be the second person in the last week we've gotten complaints on uh, uh, speeding and driving on that street. So. I don't know if that's something the council needs to decide on or if Mel can just give his input on sticking a couple on there. Or it's under your direction of council approval. There isn't, there isn't any there. I mean, there, there isn't a speed limit sign on Prairie anywhere that I know of. But it seems to be as soon as people are hitting the dirt, they're taking it off. The only other thing I got is we're just waiting on siren and speaker to come in before we can start getting the truck done. Everything else we got. Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like a 10 minute executive session for non elected oh, personnel. Um, for performance review um, with just council and mayor. Signage. Yeah, what it was is the uh, since they've changed everything with the whether or not I'll just start at the beginning. For instance, right now there's no way the city can keep somebody from carrying concealed inside the city hall. However, the uh, courthouse applied for an exemption, and they can. And part of that exemption was you had to adopt new signage. Um, and the reason I had, I had had John put it on the, the uh, agenda is because when I first read it, um, the Attorney General was taking, uh, giving or, uh, municipalities the opportunity to basically complain about that due to the cost of replacing all the current signage. And so our legislative liaison sent out an email and just said, you know, if, if this is, if this is going to be a burden for your city, then you have the opportunity to write a letter to the Attorney General and say, you know, we've got 50 signs, and we don't think we should have to pay such and such dollars to do all that. But I, I got ahead of myself, and before I had a chance to completely read it, it didn't apply to us because we didn't file for the exemption. And the reason we didn't apply for an exemption is because you have to have, part of that exemption, you have to show a plan of how you're going to install the equipment and so forth that you would have to have in right. order to do that in the metal detector. Yeah. yeah, and the exemption is only temporary. Yes. It's it's not a full. It, it basically it's basically buying you time to make a decision on to, to work your budgets and that kind of thing to see if you can afford the security that they require if you're going to say they can't carry. So basically, at this point in time, anyone with a 
concealed carry permit can carry in any city. Correct. The only thing I have here is uh, the league conference is coming up and there were some things in your packet. The sooner I know who's going and getting registered and all that, hotel rooms, we're probably no way for us to get into the hotel rooms where the conference is taking place because those fill up like in February. But um, sometimes there's um, cancellations or on the City clerk's listserv, they'll say, I've got a couple of rooms that for some reason their council wasn't going to be able to use, so I could pay, maybe pick those up along the way if I knew, if folks were going to. So the sooner I know, the better it is, and try to get that done. Everybody registers and such. Um, the other thing that I had was um, a few months ago, or a few meetings ago, one of the other. I talked to you a little bit about getting our code updated with the new ordinances, recodified, and um, just kind of checking to see. I really didn't get any direction one way or another, so um, it's been since 2000. Well, through ordinances through 2005, so it's been eight years since we've done it. So. Um, trying to get some direction from you all. If the council doesn't have an objection, I'd like to ask John to get at least two bids, possibly three, if there are three companies out there that provide right. those type of services, and then bring it back to council in a future meeting. That'd be brilliant. Okay. Okay. And that's all I have. Is there any new business? business, so um, we do have on our police policy workshop following adjournment. We'd also like to take about a five minute break so Terry can do photographs mm -hmm. on the website. Um, I will look for a motion to adjourn. So, what is that? All in favor? Sorry.